Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the different types of Cherry MX switches and the differences between them. We'll be taking a look at reds, blues, the ultra rare clear switches, blacks, browns, reds, and greens. And also we'll be taking a look at some O-rings here that I have that I'm going to be putting underneath the blue mechanical switch since that tends to be the loudest switch. I'm going to show you what these O-rings do to not only the sound but also to the feel of the switch. So first and foremost, I'm going to be talking about the tactile bump class of switches, which are the browns and the clears. Now you're going to be hearing me classify these switches in these different classifications because the tactile sensation or feedback that your fingers receive when you're pushing down on the switch. The Cherry MX Brown switch requires 45 grams of actuation force in order to activate the switch. Now this makes it one of the lightest tactile bump switches available. And because it's a very light tactile bump switch, it is also very quiet. So why is this switch considered a tactile bump switch? Well, when you can see my finger travel down the keystroke, it hits almost a notch or a bump in the keystroke. And this is kind of like if you're driving down the road and you go over a speed bump in the road. It's kind of that same kind of thing, but your finger will feel that tactile sensation of the bump in the keystroke. Now on the browns, it's not too noticeable, but you can definitely feel the tactile feedback. So now we're actually going to listen to how quiet the switch actually is. So let's move on to the other tactile bump switch, which are the clears. Now these usually sell out really quick. Keyboard manufacturers usually run out of stock really fast. And these are kind of becoming the new tactile brown switches. So these require a 55 grams of actuation force to activate the switch with a peak at 65 grams, meaning at the very bottom of the keystroke is going to be 65 grams, just because when the spring is compressed, it's obviously going to be resisting more force. Now clears are similar to the browns, but they are unique because they combined a solid actuation force with a quiet non-click activation with that nice little bump on every keystroke. Clears offer the user a nice typing experience without that loud audible click, that of blues. They are just a tad bit heavier than the blues, but still feel very comfortable and give you that nice tactile bump. So now let's go ahead and take a listen to these clear switches. So those are the two types of tactile bump switches. If you're a gamer, I would lean more towards the browns. If you're more of a typist, I would lean more towards the clears. So now let's move on and take a look at the other types of switches. So now let's look at the Cherry MX Linear Switch Type. These types of switches are considered and labeled as a gamer switch because of its linear action. There is no type of tactile feedback and it basically feels like you're just pushing down a spring. These Cherry MX Red switches require 45 grams of force to activate the switch. Now even though it's very similar and actually the same amount of force used for the browns, it feels lighter due to its linear action. And because of that, it's labeled as a gamer switch. Gamers tend to like that linear feel with no kind of tactile sensation while they're playing a game. Now because it's a linear switch, these are also very quiet. So let's go ahead and take a look at how they sound. So now we're ready to move on and look at the black linear switch. Now it shares very similar characteristics as a red switch, but there's one key difference and that is that it requires 60 grams of actuation force to activate the switch. While some gamers actually prefer this heavier switch to that of reds, I personally feel that's a little too heavy and may cause a little bit of finger fatigue in long gaming sessions. But just like the reds, it is a very quiet switch, so let's go ahead and listen. So those are our two linear gamer switches. The reds tend to be more preferred, it's easier to double tap while you're gaming, and it's easier, a little easier to control and less finger fatigue on your fingers in long gaming sessions. Likewise, if you don't want to double tap or you don't want to press unwanted keystrokes, then the blacks may be better for you. If you are a typist, these types of switches aren't really preferred as they don't offer any kind of tactile feedback to the user, which a lot of typists prefer. So now let's move on to my personal favorite type of switch, and that is the tactile click switch. These are the Cherry MX Blue switches and require 50 grams of actuation force to activate the switch. These types of switches have a different tactile feedback from that of the brown 
bump switches and that these are more of a notch in the keystroke. Now because of the clicky switch and the sound it makes when you bottom out the keystroke, it does make a very loud click sound. So we'll go ahead and take a look at how this switch sounds. So because it's pretty loud, I'm going to install this red rubber o-ring which will reduce the amount of travel by 2 millimeters. Now if that's not enough, we'll install this blue o-ring which will reduce the key travel by 4 millimeters. Now I do not have a green tactile click switch on hand, but we can make one. So to do this, we're going to take the black linear switch and just take out the spring of this because the green uses the same spring as the black switch. So to do this, we're just going to pry the little latches on each side of the switch and the top will pop right off. So now to create the green switch, we're just going to swap out the springs from that of the black and that of the blue. Now the green switch is the same exact switch as the blue, just with a heavier spring of 60 grams. So now that we got it all put back together, we now have our green tactile click switch. Now this shares the same similarities between the, brown, the blue switch, but it does have that now stiffer 60 gram spring in there from the black switch. And just like the blue, they are also pretty loud. So let's go ahead and take a listen. So there you have the blue and green tactile click switches. They get offer a very strong tactile feedback, but gives the user a very satisfying feel while typing. Although they are the loudest Cherry MX switches, you can buy those O-rings to dampen the sound a little bit if you are sharing a room with someone else or in a dorm of some sort. For me personally, the blue switch is my favorite switch. I feel that it gives me the perfect combination between tactile feedback and actuation force for gaming and typing combined. Now, this may not be true for everyone because this noise may be a deal breaker for you, but personally, I love the sound. So that about wraps up my video. I hope all you guys learned something from this. And if you haven't, what I recommend doing is I actually purchased this kit, which you can buy at wasdkeyboards.com. It comes with every switch and also the O-rings. And so, you know, if, if you're a person that has to, you know, you're more of a hands-on type of person and has to fill it yourself, then I really recommend buying this kit. It's really cheap. It's only like eight dollars for the whole kit plus shipping so that's what i recommend so again guys thank you so much for watching um let me know in the comments below what your favorite switch type is and as always hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys later bye